Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Infinity. Last episode we got the Giratina Energy, we won the Trident Tournament and uh, got the trophy, get to hold it for a little bit before it has to be returned to the museum. So while we have the trophy, let's go back to Professor Fawn and use the energy and then we'll get sent back to our own reality. Because we're not from this timeline at all. So this can't be the end of the game, surely something's going to happen but there's Fawn, ooh. Yo, how's your search for the uh, Chaos Shard going? You did what? Came out on top in some big tournament? That's incredible, Voltsy. I thought I'd heard Geralt fantasizing about starting a tournament back in the day. Good to see you went through with it. How cool that you got to be a part of that. What an astounding coincidence that the specific shard of shard of charge Ar Arcanium we needed was also a part of the trophy for that tournament. Nevertheless, you've acquired the last energy signature we needed. I will go down to the lab, remove the stone from the trophy, and load it into the machine. Don't worry, I've got some leftover Arcanium from Echo Rock Town that I can fashion into a replacement to put into the trophy. No one will be the wiser, Hey, That's good. Because uh, I'm just saying this trophy's in my name right now, I don't really want to mess it up because I'll be in trouble. But by the way, the plan is to send you home. We've got a few things we must do in the lab. But once we're done, you'll be leaving Ego. Guess my point is, if you have any unfinished business you wanted to take care of, you want to do that before we bid our farewells. When you're ready, as always, I'll be in the lab. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just in case there's like some cool post-game stuff, you know, I'm going to um, save it here. Then we can always reload the save if worse comes to us. Uh, let's head on down. And let's go see what's going to happen next. Yo, let's do this, Professor. The machine is booted up and ready to go. It's calibrating coordinates on your calculate origin point. We've just got to wait on that to finish processing. While we're waiting, there is one last task I need to complete. You see, even though the advanced quantum particle displacer is the most powerful technological marvel of our time, it's not perfect. It can only compute information from this reality. In order for you to go home, the machine has to be able to send and receive information from a small pocket of your reality to return you. The physics of every reality probably vary, which means the machine would need a way to understand how to calculate that information. This is where you come in. I figured out how to upgrade its quantum processing so that the varying laws of physics don't break it. It has to be upgraded internally at the quantum level. By quantum level, I mean smaller than the size of atoms. I'm going to shrink you. Wait, what? <laughs> Don't worry, it's completely safe. I've already been running successful tests on inanimate objects. The scary part will be when you dematerialize and turn into digital information. Yeah, so I'm going to basically turn you into a computer program for a few minutes so we can upgrade the operating system. Since you come from the, the reality we're trying to reach, it should be able to use your information now digitized as a means of upgrading its physics translation software. Follow the uh, upgrade software onto the suit that you'll be equipped with. We'll use the energy from Polkia to shrink the space between your atoms, then use the reality distorting power of Giratina to turn you into digital information. Dialga's energy will help stabilize the process as it assists in synchronizing the energy flow. I promise, Voltsy, you'll probably be just fine. <laughs> probably, is the key word right there. It should only take a few minutes. This is it, Voltsy, one last quick adventure into digital space. After that, it's back off to where you belong. Like I said outside, if you got anything else you want to do before you go home, this is your last chance. When you're ready, just take a step into the machine. Okay. Digital space. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. Digitizing. Going to the digital world. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. This is a pre-recorded message to instruct you how to upgrade the computer internally. You've been placed in the quantum confines of the processing unit. All you need to do is make contact with the four nodes located in the vicinity. Once you make contact with an active node, it will create a new set of neural pathways that will help you traverse. I've also installed a custom copy of Porygon.exe in your suit. Each node activated will also play a part in installing and upgrading Porygon. The Pathfinder AI on Porygon is a little buggy, so if Porygon gets stuck, just walk over one of the new pathways. Every time you step on one, it will temporarily give Porygon the ability to pass through solid objects. Right, I think I understand. Alright. Looks really cool in here. Uh, oh, wait. So I want to go this way. So one of the nodes that need to be triggered, this one is not active yet. Okie dokie. So I wonder if I find like any cool Pokemon in here. Oh! Okay, so then... Right, so then we go with this. Uh, 
Oh. Ah. The <laughs> Can we go up to this then? Oh, I see, I see. This is kind of cool. And then go to this one. That's Porygon 2. So initiate an extraction protocol. Porygon X, okay. Uh, new Porygon form, I'm down for that. Great work, Voltsy, the machine upgraded successfully. It looks like Porygon joined you in your return. Luckily, the extra guest didn't cause any issues. It looks like it actually evolved as it was transferred back. Well, Voltsy, this is the end of our path. We may not have figured out why you were brought here, but at least we figured out how to get you home. The machine has already made contact with your home reality and should be ready to go shortly. You know, what we've done here is remarkable. Groundbreaking, even. With the power that we've collected from Polkia, Dalga, and Giratina, we've essentially harnessed the power to travel through infinite realities. I know you'll probably focus on just making it home, but think about the possibilities. We're able to witness a part of Ego from 100 years ago, just with Dalga's power alone. With all three forces synchronized together, we're able to step foot into an alternate time, place, or dimension that we could fathom. The wonders and achievements we could witness, the mysteries we could solve, Faulty, we've opened a door to infinite possibilities. I'm ecstatic at the discoveries that may be waiting for us. Sorry, not us. Just me, I suppose. It's time for you to go home. You've gone through a lot to get to this point, Faulty. I must say, it's been a pleasure working with you. I wish you the best upon your return home. I'll go finalize the destination one last time. Uh-oh. What the? Did you feel that? What in the world is going on? Whatever happened has knocked out the power for this part of the lab. Sorry, Voltsy, we need to go figure out what's going on. Alright, let's go. Luckily, it didn't um, happen while we were, uh, you know, transferring to our reality, but um, good news, the PC still works, so we're not completely doomed. Time to figure out what caused all that commotion. I'll wait for you, I suppose. Yeah, I want to see this Porygon X first. Ooh! Oh snap, that looks sick! It's got adaptability. Oh, I've got a script error. Okay. And the game just closed. Alright, we're back. Let's head outside. Sound like Giratina, and oh my god, it's all free. This is not good. And it's you. I thought that capturing the deities would have put an end to Fawn schemes. After seeing you at the Chaos Ruins, I realized he must have had a contingency plan. How else would you have shown up 100 years in the past without Dialga? Should have known better than to think I could outsmart Fawn. I told you to stay out of this. I told you to stop working with him. I didn't want you to have to get involved, Faulty. My entire mission was to stop Fawn from using you as a means to his end. Well, this all looks pleasant. Faulty, who do we have here? You know exactly who I am. At this point, I'm sure the kid does too. I mean, you do seem a tad familiar, I guess. Faulty, you need to listen to me. Professor Fawn is taking advantage of your amnesia to make you help him accomplish something more nefarious than he's leading on. He's using you to gather the resources he needs to create a machine that will distort time and reality. I'm from a future in which he succeeds by capturing the three deities. In my timeline, he siphoned the energy from Polkia, Dalga, and Giratina to power his machine. The reason I know he's using you is because he did the same to me when I was your age. Faulty, I am you from an alternate future. I have seen what Fawn has done hopping through at different times and realities without any regard for the collateral damage he leaves behind. I need to stop him, here and now. To be fair, you paint me in a very negative light. It's not like I'm jumping through realities maliciously, purposely disrupting people's lives. I was never manipulating Voltsy. It just so happened that both of our end goals intertwined. Also, I absolutely do care about the ripple effects of our actions through the multiverse, but to see them as too inconsequential to affect my overall pursuit for knowledge. Otherwise, everything else sounds pretty accurate. This is why I must stop you. I'll protect the multiverse from you, once and for all. Pfft, that's impossible. How can that be impossible when you've always told me that the possibilities are infinite? Because there's a difference between cliché inspirational quotes and hard science. The very fact that you're here is proof that I've already succeeded. Think, Faulty. How do I know how to collect the Arcanium Shards instead of the deities? 
Why don't I send Foltsy back to 100 years ago instead of just before they ex excavated the Chaos Shard? To... to taunt me? So you knew I was what I was doing. Precisely. I knew the instant you sent your team fake grunt to sabotage the first scan. Oh, by the way, if you're going to try to take the moral high ground, you may want to stop snatching kids out of different realities to work for you. You heard right, Foltsy. All those team fake grunts you've had to fight have just been your rival, Teal. Pulled from alternate timelines. Oh, snap. Hey, I didn't snatch Teal. They agreed to join me. Wait, what does any of this have to do with stopping you? All right. The reason I knew uh, what you were up to is because we've done this back and forth a dozen times before. You aren't the first, you, to uh, try and stop me. I applaud your efforts, I really do. But you, you should know by now that they will always prove futile. You see, once you've unlocked the gateway to infinite multiverse, it can be closed again. The first timeline in which I succeeded in accessing infinite realities was the only one needed to guarantee a flourishing multiverse. It, can't, it can not be undone. Every few realities, there will be a scenario just like this. Will you try to stop me, but always end up a few steps behind? I inevitably give you this uh, same spiel, or explain the insignificance of your efforts. Then we, of course, battle it out to determine who's right. That's how it's always gone. That's how it always will go. So that's it. You're going to keep interfering in different realities, no matter whose life you ruin? Right, because it doesn't matter. What, their lives don't matter? In the grand scale of infinity? No, they do not. Their lives, our lives, all lives, do not truly matter. We're but dust in the eyes of giants. I drop an endless ocean of chaos. Those people's lives matter to them. Right you are, Volksy. Some of you have failed to understand, though. It's just how vast inf infinity truly is. When there are an infinite number of timelines and realities, everything and anything that could happen already has. We are all just a microscopic fraction of the universe, observing an experience in itself. The people whose lives may be affected by our reality hop in actions are worse off in a million different realities, and better off in a million others. Our actions on a universal scale are inc inconsequential, insignificant, practically non-existent. In time you will come to understand that. I would never accept having a lack of empathy for other people's lives like you. Is it not obvi obvious to you yet, Voltsy? I am you. From an even further future that- Oh, then you are to younger Voltsy. Oh, snap. But that's- that's impossible. Possibilities are infinite. How can that be? It's very simple, Voltsy. Who better to work with you than yourself? Over the last few decades, I've been showing up in alternate timelines of my past in hopes of accomplishing goals more efficiently. I adopt the alias of Professor Fawn simply because I like the way it sounds. I spend time teaching younger me things I wish I'd known sooner. I create a vast network of alternate versions of ourselves, all working together to study and explore the infinite realities we have, our, have at our disposal. Every once in a while, one of us will rebel, thinking it's the right thing to do. Talk about being uh, your own worst enemy, am I right? Alas, I have yet to see a defector succeed. Like they say, it's the first time for everything. Optimistic of you to assume that you will be the one to prove that sentiment correct. Faulty, come on, help me stop Fawn once and for all. As soon as we put an end to all of this, the sooner I can get you home. Oh, snap. Oh, snap, who do I choose? Oh, man, mind blown. So we are, we are you and we are Fawn. Like, if Thorn always succeeds, I would like to try and make him fail once. I want to battle Thorn. Make him fail one one time, you know? Poor choice, Faulty. You see, for our main power supply and networking infrastructure, we're wiped out. The PC storage system was still intact. I was actually able to sync up with my multiverse storage system right after you upgraded the computer. The multiverse storage is an upgrade I made that gives me access to any Pokemon we've caught from any reality. It was connected just long enough to give me access to our secret weapon. Behold, the creator of the multiverse. Our chaos? Oh my god! This is our chaos, the one Pokemon above all. The creator of Arceus and the cosmic deities. Um, I don't think we could beat Fawn. It looks incredible! Oh, that design's so cool! Cosmic Ray? I have no idea what type you are, but um, we do like no damage. Cosmic Shower, oh my, okay, okay. Right, I'll go into Vi. If we can try and lower your speed with Rock Tomb and get everyone else to outspeed you, we might be able to do enough damage. 
We just gotta try and live an attack, which we can just do. Alright, speed lowered, come on. Let me outspeed you this turn. Okay. If I max revive Vi and go for another um Rock Tomb, if we can just outspeed you, that would be great. Alright, gonna go into Eevee on. And just use your turn to max revive. Oh man, what a plot twist. This game is so good. This game story is just... Oh, it's amazing. This... This... Our chaos is just... Oh, it's such a cool design, such a cool idea. The multiverse, man. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Alright, let's just go, uh... Rock Tomb. Such a well-written game, such a... Oh, I think so cool. And, oh, okay, you got a critical hit. That's... That's kind of annoying. It's fine, it's fine. Right, I'm gonna just uh, max revive again. If I can just get the speed decrease and we can outspeed it, everything will be good. Just need to try and live attacks. Bulldoze, I should've gone Bulldoze actually, because that also lowers speed. I'll go for Rock Tomb. If we live this, if it's not a crit, we're um, max revive Magna Zone, then we can go for Bulldoze after. We've just got to lower your speed a little bit. Oh, dude, come on, now I can't live attacks? This is annoying. This is hard. Surely Sparky can live an attack. Should I go for Car Mind or Psy Steed? Paralyze it, paralyze it. Yes! Oh, that's so clutch. That is so clutch. Oh, this is a hard battle. I should have attacked it, to be fair. I'm gonna go for double psychic. I was trying to, like, just set up, and then I just think. Yeah, I think I was strong enough to. I, I, I've, in my head, I was thinking if I just outspeed it, or lower its speed, I can outspeed it everyone, just like attack, get a few attacks off. But I didn't have to do that in the end, I could have just attacked it. Is this what you wanted? A little bit, yeah. Doesn't matter now, Voltsy. Future you has destroyed our lab. We only have one other choice if you want to go home. It's time for our chaos to reset this reality, and this place will be a new reality, devoid of any more outside interference. Hope this is the last time I have to do this. Oh snap, that is so cool, that, just how big it is. Just so you know, Voltsy, I always planned to send you home. That was always my mission, for all of this. The only reason it got so seemingly out of hand back there is because it had to. It had to be something extravagant, a big climactic send-off, a satisfying conclusion to your grand adventure. But it wasn't satisfying, was it? There are still places unexplored, stones unturned. Such is the nature of dreams, I suppose. There's always a mortar to dreams that we just can't seem to reach. If only we could stay asleep. No, no, we've come too far just to give up now. It's finally time for us to go. Don't you get it, Voltsy? None of this has been real. Just a figment of our, our brain conjured up. A fantasy world that brings up a sense of comfort. Wait for us to cope with the reality we fear waking back up to. Or just an internal psychological struggle against yourself. No, you weren't put here because of Celebi's time-warping mischief. You were just the victim of a fragile mental psyche. But the dream is over. Our journey is done. Wake up. Oh, what? Oh, snap, this is... There's patient information on the screen, read it, yes. Voltsy rushed in after being found unconscious, currently comatose, but shows some brain activity. In case patient uh, wakes, please alert parents immediately, they should be on site, if not refer to their phone numbers in the patient directory. If patient wakes up, they must not be allowed to fall back asleep. If not fully recovered, a patient may become permanently comatose. Oh, snap. Get well soon, cards are scattered on the table, it looks like your Nintendo DS is on the top of the pile. You can hear the faint background music from the game. Some notes there. There's a note on the table. It means the world to me that you've spent so much time here. Thank you. Oh, wow. You see your parents at the end of the hallway. Do you want to go home? No. An email is open. Read it. Hey, Dr. Wormwood. 
Uh, oh, okay. Had some thoughts on the patient you've been working with for the last few weeks. Spoken with a few of our neurologist buddies, and they got my gears turning with possible solutions. Contact me at your earliest convenience. Best regards, Dr. Lu- Oh! Okay, the cover seems to have stories about rising income and quality. Pin and doom from climate change and the rise of authoritarianism and fascism across the globe. Wait, is that a note there? Can't read that one. This way leads to a staff only part of the building. So what happens if I go see my parents? Can I go back to sleep? Oh, dude, should I save it? I can't access any menus. I can't save it. It's not really feel like you have to go right now. I don't know. So I assume if I go and see my parents, the game ends. But if I go back to sleep, it's like, do we go back to the game? Like the actual world of Ego? Oh, snap. Oh, that's such a good game. That was so good. So I wanna, do, can I go back in? I wanna see what happens if I like fight you. And I wanna see what happens if I go back. I saved the game so I could see what happens, but. Oh man, so much about this game I absolutely loved. And it's still like, I wanna go back and explore cause there's, there's all them areas we couldn't do anything with before. We never got rock climb either. So we need to, uh, maybe like there is a post game in a second. We'll, we'll see after the credits, but man, that was so good. <laughs> so it's like so much like that area right there. There's like a cave just top left of it. I want to go check out, like I want to go through the whole region again and just explore the parts that we never got to explore with cut, rock smash, strength, surf. There's like so much more to do. And it's just, Oh man, the uh, our chaos was so cool. I just seen like the, the size of the scale compared to like Giratina, Dolga, and Pokey. That was, oh, that was amazing. And the fact that Fawn's just like, just need to succeed once and manage to just do this over and over and just, ah, oh, it's so cool. So, so good. All right, I'll let the credits roll and then um, we'll see what we can do. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure if the save will go back to where I wanted to go to, but um, we'll see, we'll see. Oh man, so good, so good. All right, I'll see you after the credits finish. Oh, okay, so it puts us back here. Right, that's good. Okay, so. Let's this time fight, um, fight you and see what happens. And if we get the same outcome of waking up in the hospital, I'm guessing we want to go back to sleep because if we go back to sleep, we stay in this world. But I like how the graphics change and just look so, so different to what the world here looks like. It's so, ah, oh, it's so good. Just like how, like we kind of got the same hairstyle, you can kind of see. And I had a little bit of grey and used hair and then obviously Fawn's all grey. Ah, oh, it's so sweet. Alright, so I'll make sure I don't accidentally click on Fawn. Right, so we want to battle, yeah, battle you. Am I too late? He's gone to you, hasn't he? What a shame. I'm sorry it has to go down this way, Volty. I can't sit back and let Fawn wreak havoc on the multiverse. Oh, 
right, let's do this. So I'm guessing, yeah, you're gonna have the, uh, the free deities. I beat our chaos, I can beat you. Right, so for this, let's go Typhoon and... Let's go Bulldoze, so I can lower their speed. It'd be super effective against Dialga. Ouch, unless you double attack me, which I feel like you might. No, you didn't, sweet. Let's go lower your accuracy. Potentially, and didn't. But if we can outspeed you next, that would be great. Alright, gonna do the same again. Can I outspeed you? Lower the accuracy, please. Didn't lower it, but. Doing some damage. I think Vinamite's definitely gonna get taken out this time. But also, what was going on with the, um... Like, when we left the digital world, that sort of little thing. It kind of reminded me of, um... Ah, uh, the... I forgot what they're called. Like, the baby form of Digimon. Like, when, when they look like the, in the, uh... I don't want to say Tamagotchi, but in the Digivice. Uh... Let's go to Rock Smash and Dialga here. Oh, full restore, you suck! Oh, not good, not good. Nice! Alright, now we're gonna have a focus on Polkia, then we've got Giratina to deal with. Alright, uh, so Ice Beam you. And. Zen Hempo, I guess? Freeze it? Ah. No, again, the freeze, am I? <laughs> flinch? No flinch, but you missed the hydro pump. I'll take that. I'm actually gonna double attack Polkia. Probably get rid of it this turn. Oh, critical hit! Let's go! Oh man, that's great. You'd love to see it. Slack off. No thanks. That's fine, that's fine. Nothing to worry about. And we will go... Sparky! Thunderbolt and I guess Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb probably the best move we go for here. Critical hit, nice. Can we finish it off with Rock Tomb? Power Sphere. Oh, don't take up by. Just living, just living. Hey! So are you. So, if we take on you, surely Fawn doesn't reset the uh, multiverse now? But, well, this universe? You defeated them. Now what am I supposed to do? Your defeat was always inevitable. If it wasn't Younger Volta who showed you defeat, it would have been me. You see, through our main power supply and network and infrastructure, we were wiped out. The PC storage system was still intact. Okay, so we can still get out um, our, our Kios, which, um, you know, glad, like, if whatever way you choose, you still see this, because that looks incredible. So this is our Chaos, the one Pokemon above all, the creator of Arceus and the cosmic deities. It's time for our Chaos to reset. Okay, so it still resets the reality. This is the last time I have to do this. Do we still speak to um, the professor? Yeah. So no matter what happens, you still, the reality gets reset. So it still says the same thing. So now, we uh, go back to sleep. Once we get back to the real, well, yeah, I guess real world. Now, let's go back to sleep. Yes. So the credits come up.
Hey, okay. If you're reading this, that means we have more work to do. Come back to the lab, Fawn. Oh, okay. So that's Professor Fawn. Oh, we have no Pokemon. Do I have to run back? Uh, there's Lucy. Hey, Voltsy, or should I greet you as Trident Champion? Okay, so it's continuing on, so nothing's reset. Professor Wormwood wanted me to keep an eye out for you. He said he has something for you and wants you to go to his lab. I know what it is, but I'm not one to ruin a surprise. Oh, okay. Well, I think we'll end this part here then. Uh, I guess this is going to kind of start the post game. So, um, yeah, we're going to speak to Wormwood and go and see what the surprise is. Maybe it's my Pokemon coming back, because I've got nothing. <laughs> Save the game. But, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.